ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President and CEO Fiat Brand, Olivier Francois. So ladies and gentlemen, good morning and, and welcome to the Fiat Studio. As you may know, in the land of Fiat, we call our stores studio. And speaking of studios, uh, I feel very privileged today. Uh, there are approximately uh, 60 of them with us, and I can't help but uh, seize the opportunity to personally uh, thank them for uh, what uh, you guys are achieving with Fiat in this country. This year will be our best year ever in the US and in North America. Thank you, guys. So you might ask me why not just call a dealership a dealership? Why a studio? I know this might sound uh, like a marketing trick, but it's not. For Fiat, it really goes deeper than that. It goes back to Italy. It goes back uh, to the designer's studio. It goes back to the art of designing cars. So this is uh, an example. Look at this. Uh, this is the original prototype of the 500. Uh, the original uh, sculpture from 1957 created by Dante Giacosa. So, you know, I brought it from uh, Italy to you uh, because really it's something special. Uh, I mean, it's from a time uh, when there was no CG, no 3D, no virtual room. It reminds us of uh, when craftsmanship and artistry were leading the way. It reminds us of our passion for things well done. And this approach, this vision, paves the way for one of the most popular cars in the world. Well, at least one of the most popular in Europe, because if you think of it in America, we didn't introduce it in 1957. We introduced it just five years ago. But, you know, there must be something in this uh, old Italian recipe that still tastes good today. I mean, look at the numbers. Here in North America, almost... 170,000 uh, sold since 2011. And remember, when we started back then, uh, it was with no awareness, no network, and really no market for a small car like this. So we had uh, to create it, to create the brand from the ground up. It was a challenge that made our head spin, but we did it. And now our head will spin for a different reason, this, this sculpture. So that's a tribute uh, from the great designer Ron Arad uh, to uh, the 500. So why Ron Arad and why should you even care, by the way? Uh, well, because uh, he happens to be the most influential designer of our time, and he also happens uh, to uh, have a love affair with the 500 uh, uh, for the last uh, 57 years. So his dad actually had one. Which reminds me uh, that uh, this year, the 500 turns 57 years old. I mean, 57 years since 1957. It's truly a very special anniversary. So we've come full circle. We started from uh, uh, one wooden master, this one, and today uh, from another piece of food carved uh, by another master. We'll start again. Round and round and away we go. So I know, you're wondering what the heck you're looking at. <laughs> so I'll tell you, that's the most expensive Fiat on the floor today. Well, I'm kidding, but the truth is uh, most of Mr. Arad's uh, work ends up in a gallery and sells for way more that, uh, than we could ever charge for a Fiat. But wait, before we all get depressed, two things. One, our studios sell way more cars. And second, uh, the new 500 I'm going to introduce now will also be a work of art. 500X. Like any 500, it is sexy as hell. Like any 500, it is iconic. And like any 500, it's got to be fun. 
but the new 500x will have something on top, the X factor. So what is the X factor? X is many things. It's a chromosome, it's a generation, it marks a strategy, X marks a spot, X is my former wife or yours, <laughs> X is adult entertainment. You see, X is definitely more than just the 24th letter of the alphabet. Play a video. A. So, ladies and gentlemen, meet 500X, a 500 that is right-sized for America. So, think what the current 500 has done despite its size. Again, 170,000 sold in North America. That's an amazing story, but it's a story based, let's face it, on aspiration more than practicality. 500X is different because it's not just an object of desire. It's not just a car you want, it is also going to be the car you need. It's practical, it's powerful, it's capable, it's efficient, and it's still a Fiat, pure Italian style with world-class substance. So from a customer standpoint, it's a crossover. For us, it's an invitation for everyone to cross over into the Fiat family. So by the way, I need you, I need the press to help me explain. 500X is not a trim level, it's not a variation. Uh, you know, it's an all new car based on an all new platform. It's an extension of the 500 family. So we had the 500 hatch, the Cabrio, the family sized 500L, and the sporty Abad. Now we have a 500 that checks all the boxes. Bigger, capable, powerful, and still sexy enough to be a 500. Amore. Subito. The all-new Fiat 500X. Ooh. Ooh. Bigger, more powerful, and ready for action. So luckily in that commercial, the only thing that gets bigger is a car. Uh, jokes aside, uh, there is real substance built into 500X and the product, only the product is why we're here today. So remember the X factors, there are many. Excitement as an example. So what's exciting uh, with 500X? The engine, a 2.4 liter Tiger Shark with 180 horsepower. 
what's exceptional, our segment exclusive 9 speed automatic gearbox. What's extreme in 500X, the range of traction systems. You have a 4x2, a 4x2 with Traction Plus, and a 4x4. That's a first for Fiat here. And you know, for us in NAFTA, this is a really big deal. In fairness, Fiat does pretty well in California and in the Sun Belt, but without an all-wheel drive in some other parts of the country, our sales needed more traction. All-wheel drive. Our studios were asking for it because they are the voice of a customer. So we gave them a state-of-the-art system. What makes it leading edge? So an intelligent coupling that automatically manages torque distribution on the axles, an integration between the all-wheel drive system and a braking system to distribute torque to left and right wheels, and an electronic system that works together with a power takeoff unit and a rear axle to disconnect when the all-wheel drive isn't necessarily improving uh, fuel efficiency. So what does all this gives you continuous torque to the ground on every corner and improved handling and control in all conditions. Uh, because control is what makes a Fiat fun to drive. On top of this, drivers can select throttle response, traction control, and steering calibration. How? Thanks to our unique uh, sports mode setting. So what does it mean for a driver? A more aggressive response and a sportier feel. But our global architecture does more than just help the powertrain. High strength steel gives 500x superior rigidity, standout safety, and benchmark NVH. Now, there are many other X factors, like extraordinary uh, the way the car is uh, loaded with advanced safety features. So on the passive safety side, you've got seven airbags. But look at what we offer when it comes to active safety. So lane assist, uh, it not only warns you, it will self-correct uh, to keep you on a lane. Blind spots with rear cross path detection, rear backup cameras with grid lines, uh, rear parking sensors, hill start assist, electronic part brake, electronic traction control, uh, and forward collision mitigation with full stop. So these are features you'll arguably find on other cars, but your, what you won't find on other cars is all of them available at the same time. Roll video, please. So I know that's a very Italian vision of safety features, but uh, there is something which is even more Italian and very Fiat, personalization, colors, accessories, which leads me to another X, this one, expressive. I mean, you can now express yourself with a choice of 12 colors. So I brought three with me, uh, uh, tricot uh, red, uh, a tricot yellow, and even that matte bronze. So let me tell you, no one can claim uh, for an offer like this. And for even more personalization in a pure Fiat tradition, we will offer a wide array of accessories like those on the sporty Mopar 500X uh, over there. So all this makes 500X expressive, but it's also extroverted. By extroverted, I mean connected. You know, we live in a connect connected world. Facebook, Twitter, you know, social media. Well, the 500X is connected to the world through Uconnect via mobile. This stuff matters to the connected generation, the so-called millennials. Streaming music, voice command, an interface to control Pandora, iHeartRadio, and the like. And one more thing, something that matters to every generation, a navigation system that gets you there quicker and looks better than ever. Amazing graphics, 3D landmarks, city models, 
uh, and it um, can even offer you a kind of a concierge. You can find fuel prices, you can find weather forecasts, storm alerts, movie listings, uh, and as an extra bonus, sports course for your favorite team uh, even. So this is a little extra uh, we call travel link. And speaking of which, speaking of extra, there is another X factor, extra. I mean, attention to detail, craftsmanship, rich appointments. So on the screen behind me, uh, we have tried to capture a few of these just to pique your interest a bit, but clearly the full list of amenities goes above and beyond what you have on the slide. So please go check it out for yourself and you'll see what I mean. By the way, one of the many extras in 500X is a sound. Yeah, that's an X that only Beats by Dr. Dre can provide, explosive. And uh, this is an opportunity for me to thank Jimmy Iovine, uh, an LA icon, and the Beats team who I know is in attendance today. With uh, all these X factors, 500X has a clear mission, help Fiat writes the next chapter of its history in North America. And to do so, we need to let our customers know that Fiat now has a perfect fit for America. Think Fiat only builds little cars? Wrong. Think you, can be, you can't be sexy and practical? Wrong. Things have changed. The mirror needs to be replaced. This is a very bad. Don't worry, we fix it. Oh, Salvatore, Paolo! No, 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 no. This is embarrassing, eh? No, no all-wheel drive, no horsepower, uh, no. Non c'è niente sicurezza, niente tecnologia. È come un tavolo Nicolo, in una macchina preistorica. They're assessing the car. No style, no leather. Che tipo di uomo guida una macchina senza pelle? The mirror's broken. Where is the sexy? No sexy. Huh? No sexy. No sexy. Do you have any other mechanics? We fix it, we fix it. You like espresso? Yeah, I guess. I'm on him. Ah, bravo. Well, she's ready. So is that your car? We fixed it. We fixed it. I just, I just drive it? This is your car. We fix it. Oh. I really like what you guys did. We fixed the sedan with the all-new Fiat 500X crossover. It feels really good on my butt. I mean, it feels good everywhere, but really good on my butt. So you know what we fixed here? The perception that there was not a fiat for each and every one of, of you. Because now there is 500X, more athletic, more capable, more practical. This definitely is a fiat for everyone. But there is something more about this commercial. Really, it doesn't just feature a new car. It features a, a skeleton, a skeleton in the closet, the elephant in the room. His name was Tony and he had to go. Because let's face it, to go global, our number one priority is world-class quality. So to achieve this, it takes engineering, it takes testing, it takes discipline. This is why we redesigned the Melfi plant. Uh, this is why we spent 2.5 million hours of engineering, 500,000 hours of lab testing, and more than 3 million miles of uh, road testing in the most extreme conditions. And this is why quality control is leaning edge, like the scanner you see on the screen, which literally X-rays 500X. Well, if there is anything that I want you to take away this morning, is that we have a car that fits this market like never before. So the last commercial I'm going to share with you today is about uh, the special tie between my two countries, Italy and America. Roll video. A 
America loves Italy. The signs are everywhere. And to prove we love you right back, meet the Made for America Fiat 500X. So why did I want to share that uh, video with you? Thank you. So why this video? Not uh, only to show uh, a little Italian influence on this country. No, really, it's the opposite. Today, I'm here to tell you that America has influenced Fiat. America is making us better. America is pushing us. It's forcing us to listen and to be heard and to come with a car like this. Sure, Fiat has never been out to please everyone. It's not a yes man of a brand, and okay, we don't make big cars. But you know, in this country, uh, you can only go so far with a small car. So the question was, can you be true to yourself and still please a larger audience? Can you be courageously, distinctly, absolutely uh, what you are, what you really are, and still please those who doubted you and do all this without apology or making compromise. So I know the answer generally is no. But you know, from time to time, the magic happens. And the answer is yes. So we listened to America's question. And the questions drove us to an answer, the Fiat 500X. This is our answer to the American market. So is it going to please a larger audience? I think so. And this without making compromise or being apologetic. This is what happens when Italians cross over. Thank you.